Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card, the idea came from, um, I think it was YouTube, not sure. But today's card, I'm going to make it a little bit different. I wanted three butterflies in a row, but the way I cut my card, I couldn't get three. So, for today's card, I've cut it a little bit bigger to get three cards, three butterflies. So, I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by eight, scored at four, folded in half. Let's burnish it because I never did that. Struggle getting my burn folder out. Bit both sides. I've got a three pieces of white at seven and three quarters by three and three quarters. Want to go inside, and the two off of the top. Now I've already cut my butterflies out. I cut them out of the butterfly brilliant dies and I used I think it was this die. Is it this one? No. I used this one on this card and the two smaller ones. But on the one I'm making today I used this card, this butterfly, so it's the third smallest butterfly. Oh, yeah, it's the middle butterfly. There's two smaller and two larger than this. And I cut three out, which are here. They all came out of there. Now, what I never told you was, it's a shaker card. My first one. First one on um, YouTube. I think it's my second shaker card I've ever made. So this is what this is. I also used, I can't remember what stamp I used there. I think it was a retired stamp there. But this one's retired as well. Uh, it's Itty Bitty Birthday and all I want is the Happy Birthday just to go underneath. Right, the innings. I bought these beads thinking I'd use them. But they're too big. They don't shake. And I found these in my stash and they're tiny, tiny beads. And I used this one, yellowy, greeny, in this card, the first card. But this time I'm going to use the bluey greeny in this card. I hope that makes sense. I've also got three pieces of white cardstock with bits on the bottom. And they measure two and a quarter by. Is it two and a quarter? Two and three quarters by two and five eighths. So it's two and three quarters by two and five eighths. And they will go underneath the butterflies. We're going to um, blend some colour into them. And the colours will be Highland Heather, Blushing Bride and Seaside Spray. I'm going to use that kind of blue today. So we've got that to do. I've also got a piece of acetate. That will cover this, and this measures eight inches. Oh no, seven and three quarters by three and a half. And I think I might need to trim a bit off at the end, but we'll see. So to get started, we will. I'm going to take a little while this card. We will blend these. I'll need a scrap of paper 
and my brushes. Blue, pink and purple. Right, I'm not looking for a smooth blend. I want it to be a bit blotchy just to give it a bit of, you know, I don't want it to be really smooth. So I'm not blending it in evenly. I'm just putting some colour on. Gives it a mottled look. You see that? That's all I want from each card. Right, get rid of the purple. Purple. Highland Heather. And now I've got Seaside Spray. And we'll do the same on this one and then the blush and bride next can use um, DSP for this if you want Our three colours. That's that bit done. Right, the next bit we need to do, stamping wise, is just stamp Happy Birthday on this. When I made the first one, I nearly forgot to do this bit. There's a happy birthday on it. Right. Let's start putting this together. We're going to put our acetate on first. So I've got some double-sided tape. Add that just to the top and bottom. Nearly forgot. Glue down the sides. And then add this. Over. 
did. Right, I didn't put it on very straight. I've got a little bit of overhang here, so I'm just going to trim that off. There we are. Right, what we've got to do next is put um, dimensionals round or foam tape around the butterflies to keep the beads in. So I have got these strips. I got these on Amazon. I think there were 500 of these strips for. No, I can't remember if it was three ninety five or five ninety five, but I am just putting them round the butterfly. Don't ask me why I started with the middle one. I just did. Take the release, relief, release backing off. It um, makes them easier to go around corners. This is what takes the time up sticking all these on. Right, start another one. Now because that's so close I don't need to put it round that bit there, get away with that. I did, was going to film yesterday, but I had such a hard time. I was filming one card, which you would have seen last Friday. My phone went. So I stopped filming and answered my phone. Started another uh, card and instead of stopping my card when the phone went, I carried on it carried on running. So of course when I started the another another card I pressed the button thinking I was starting to film again and what I actually did was turn the camera off so of course I made the card and not a minute of it was captured on film because I turned it off thinking I was turning it on I was not happy
So I ended up putting it all away. And got it all out today. And started again. Right. Oh. That'll fit there, might as well use that. Right, so that's our butterflies covered. So what we need to do now is just put tape on the outside and I'm removing it as I put it down because I didn't do that on the first one. You learn by your mistakes. Workmen are here again, fixing the road, or not the road, the pavement. Got trees outside, and the, the roots of the trees are lifting the pavement up, so they're sorting them out. I honestly thought they would um, take the tree down, but they didn't. That's the council's favourite trick, take trees down. To use them beads I would have to get um, thicker dimensionals because these aren't very thick these are quite thin these dimensionals don't want it sagging anywhere so just putting a few more on one more bit and that's us done there Right, done with that. Right now we're going to add our little gems. Just pour a few. Bead in them. I think that'll do. And then we're going to place our cards on top of each butterfly, making sure ah, none of the colour. goes on to the other butterfly. I might have to cut like an eighth of an inch off. Basically little beads want to jump out. Get out. 
Right, just lose the pink one, which we will have to cut down. How much? How much? Just cut down a sliver. And that looks quite pretty. Right now we're going to stick this, add some glue here. She says, and it's popped. No. Add this to the back now, it's the same size, so it should fit nicely, which it hasn't. Take it off. And what we have to do is glue this on to here. I mean, you don't have to do a back in, you can put it all straight on the card base, but I I'm more confident putting it on a backing. Well, our next step is to get our butterflies and inlay them back in there like that. Just with a touch of glue. Not forgetting to glue the antennas. Or antenna. Do that with all three of them. Mark there where the cellar tape was. I need to get my glue, uh, yeah, glue eraser on it. Right now I am going to put some gems on each butterfly. I need to finish this row off. I think it's 
five. Gems on each butterfly. Four. Concentrating. That's one. Oh, one missing. Trying to get them straight. There they are. And that is our card for today. I think the green sets off the colours underneath. So there's one. I do like it with the three and not the four. What do you think? You can see them. I hope you like it. If you do give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.